This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The last post-recorded episode. My phone just buzzed. Why would you do that right now? Like, it didn't even buzz before I started. It was a solid 10 minutes before anything buzzed, and the moment I started, it decides to buzz. But hi, hi Rastrum here. Welcome back to Ori and the Blind Forest. In the last episode, we got Kudo's Feather, which is a, uh, a little floaty ability, which is pretty nice. Um, I died there. I don't know what to say about this episode, mostly because it's, like, most of this episode is me trying to get out from being, like, under here. Because obviously, I wasn't supposed to come down. <laughs> um, like, I saw that there was an opportunity to just fall down, and my brain went, hmm, let's do it, because kind of, I thought I was going to die, but I didn't. Instead, I got put in this cavern area, and, uh, yeah, so most of this episode is going to be spent trying to get out of here so how's your day been I don't know where I'm going with this let's see what did I talk about last time uh, I remember speaking about oh gosh what did I speak about last time because I think yes um not yesterday wait yes yesterday I don't know either way the one beforehand was recorded when I was tired as hell um so I cannot remember what I spoke about in that video I remember speaking about shoutcasting, spoke about Pokemon a little bit. Hmm, what should I talk about now? I don't know. I don't just want to play by play this because that's kind of boring. But, uh, you know, we do actually get out here, I think. I think this is where... Yeah. I Oh, I thought, it's, I thought it was most of the episode trying to get out of that area. I think it's most of the episode trying to get back to where we were. Because I think I end up dying at some point because I forgot to actually save once I got out of that area. But I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be very, very wrong. I'm also very hungry. I should have eaten before I... Should have eaten before I recorded. Yeah, I die there. And I'm like, oh, god damn it, I forgot. Um, then I died there immediately. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think now. I really don't know what to speak about. You know what? Phone, since you're buzzing. Let's see, what are people talking about here? Have you guys listened to the new Kanye album? Yes, I have. I thought it was okay. That's what I'm going to say right now. I thought... That's not how you spell thought. I, I thought it was okay. Just okay. Uh, I don't really fuck with Kanye no more. So, you know, take that how you will. Because obviously, I mean, why would I want to vibe with a dude who said slavery is a, was a choice? Like, no. No, that's not how that works. I get where he's trying to come from, but that's not how it works. Like, I'm sorry, my dude. You, you go. You go away. In fact, the only reason why I listened to the album was because I was like, okay. After Lift Yourself, what else could this man create? Like, there, there's nothing there for him anymore. And I listened through the album... And I get it. I get what the songs were going for. I get where they were coming from. They're just not my vibe. I don't vibe with them, so I don't really, uh... Don't really watch it. Oh, my God. Um, I, I'm scrolling through Tumblr as I'm doing this right now, which isn't great. I don't know, maybe something will pop up here that I want to talk about. Oh, Deadpool 2 was a good movie. I can say that, at least. I watched that movie. It was pretty good. Um... Ooh, actually, I, I guess that's kind of something, but, uh, on my, on my Snapchat, whenever I watch a movie, I've been doing, like, little, uh, little review thingies of, like, oh, hey, you know, here's my, my review, and, because Snapchat really only allows, like, what, five, six minutes of, no, not five, six minutes, um, like, 50 to 60 seconds of video, I think they're all like a minute-ish technically so it's just me being like ah oh, i went to go watch this movie or oh i watched this movie and it was all right um i've done deadpool 2 where i said it was an 8 or a 9 which i still personally agree with i went to go watch it again recently it's still like an 8 or a 9 um i watched infinity war and i did it i don't remember what i said in that i can't even tell you what score i gave it i think i'd give that like a 9 i wouldn't give it a 10 not necessarily because it's a bad film, but 
I, I don't know. I like Thanos. Thanos is definitely the best part of that movie. Um, but I also did, uh, I did Shape of Water and Deadpool 2 recently. I watched Shape of Water to prepare for a media exam, uh, which I'm done with now, huzzah, but now I have two more exams before I'm officially done with school. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, so I watched Shape of Water to do that, and I gave Shape of Water a 10 out of 10, which is a near-perfect movie. Not perfect, because obviously not everything is perfect. Um, in fact, it's very difficult to find something that's perfect. Um, and then Deadpool 2, you know, 8 or 9 out of 10. Um, since I'm talking about movies, I've actually, uh... <laughs> this is technically something for the channel, so I am spoiling stuff. But still, why not? Um, I've decided that once I'm done with all the school stuff, you know, whatever, I'm gonna watch a hundred movies. It's just a hundred movies, why not? I mean, it's technically more than a hundred because A, I'm not counting um, any Disney and Studio Ghibli movies I might wanna watch, and B, um, <laughs> there is some that I've clumped together because I was like, I kinda wanna watch more movies though. Um, for example, John Wick is on that list, but John Wick is both John Wick 1 and 2. So that's technically two movies in one in one spot, but oh well, who cares? Um, I do break my own numbering system a lot sometimes. That's that's my fault. Um, hmm. Gosh, I was thinking about something else. I can't remember what it was. I cannot remember what it was. Um. Oh. Proceeds to go back into my. Oh my god. My friends are talking about what character Kanye West would main in. <laughs> would main in, in Overwatch. Nah, dog. Torbjorn. <laughs> He's a Torbjorn main. Torbjorn main Kanye West. Take that how you will. <laughs> um, oh gosh. Also, my room is sounding a lot more echoey. To me, at least. I don't know if it pops up in the mic, but it sounds a lot more, uh, sounds a lot more echoey to me because two pieces of my sound foam fell down. Um, my sound foam, it's either my sound foam doesn't like the stuff I used to stick it with or the stuff I'm sticking my sound foam onto the walls with doesn't like my sound foam. Um, because it just keeps falling. I actually think it might be the room slash the, the stuff I'm using because it seems to dry out really quickly and my 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 theory for this is because the room i'm in because it's a it's a very old room uses wallpaper instead of painted walls and oh, oh, here's my my review and because snapchat really only allows like what five six minutes of no not five six minutes um like 50 to 60 seconds of video I think they're all like a minute-ish technically. So it's just me being like, ah, oh, I went to go watch this movie, or oh, I watched this movie, and it was all right. Um, I've done Deadpool 2, where I said it was an eight or a nine, which I still personally, Persona games a whole lot. I haven't played Persona 5, but I've uh, watched a whole playthrough of it. It's a pretty dope game. Um, I kind of want to find a way to play Persona, Somehow, I haven't played Persona 1 and 2, and I think those ones would be the easiest ones to play on the channel. Because Personas 3, 4, and 5 are long as hell, and granted, RPGs can be long as hell, but those ones are longer than most RPGs. They're all like 100 hours, which is wild. So, you know, like, people say, um, like, you know, you can people spend like a weekend on RPGs, you can't do that with Persona, you have to spend like two or three weekends on Persona, which is not wrong, that is very much what you have to do with Persona 3, 4, and or 5. Um, so you know, I don't know, I really like those games though. Uh, let's see, let's see, keep scrolling through to see what I can find. Oh, what is happening here? Oh. Wild, but yeah. Let's keep scrolling through and see what I can find. Cause I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not finding anything. I've just been rambling on this episode. 
I mean, I guess that's fitting for the last post-recorded episode to just be rambles of a madman. Um, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, um, uh, proceeds to look around the room to try and find something to talk about. Um, yeah, no, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Oh, actually, no, I do have something. Even though I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in a video recently. Or in a video that I've made that isn't up yet. But I'm going to talk about it again. Octopath Traveler. That's coming out soon. I need that game to be injected in my veins. Um, I love RPGs and I played the demo of it and it's pretty solid. Um, pretty solid right now. I like the fact that, um, in fact, I think I talked about this in the last episode. I don't know. But I know I spoke about it recently, but I'm going to speak about it again. Uh, the fact that you can play all eight stories, like in one playthrough, that's sick as hell. I like that a lot. It worries me about how long the single playthroughs are though, like the single story modes of the characters. But I don't know, maybe they'll make it so that each one is its own satisfying RPG. Maybe a short, or uh, maybe a shorter one, but still a, still an RPG nonetheless. I mean, I'm playing Child of Light. Child of Light is supposedly pretty short. I think, I want to say it has eight chapters and we're on chapter five. So take that how you will, but I don't know. Oh, my phone buzzed again. Ooh, actually, that's something I kind of want to talk about. Um, Child of Light 5 and 6, the episodes I, I just put out, I didn't know this because my dumbass decided to not check. But my friends, who are so very loving to tell me this, um, watched my video and went, Ayo, buddy, uh, that's kind of laggy. Now my brain goes, what are you talking about? It shouldn't be laggy at all. And I go to watch part five, and it's laggy as hell. And I already have part six, like, prepared to go up the next day. So I'm like, oh, well, that's just going to be the case. Um, but I sat down, went through it, and wondered, like, what the hell happened? So I tried to swap through my OBS settings to be like, oh, maybe it's this. Because even though it did still run fine when I changed the settings, I changed my settings back, and it worked just as fine if not better so those two episodes for some reason just don't love me and decided it would be a good choice to just not work just not work and it makes me sad because we got new characters well we got a new character in in that like in those two sessions we used her quite a bit she's actually pretty decent um which makes me so sad for Rubella, because I've I tried using her again in that in one of those episodes, and she died like the <laughs> the match I used her again. But uh, I don't know. I need to I need to consider my team currently about what I want to use, um, about which two characters I want to use. That is also a really big gripe I have with Child of Light, um, and I don't know if it's just because I'm an idiot or what. But you seem to only be able to use two team members. And that really, really bothers me. Like, three team members, fine. Four team members, optimal, recommended, the usual. Um, but two team members makes me feel like I just don't have enough options. Especially because the enemy can use three, but we can't. Now, maybe it's because I'm playing the game on hard mode. And to make the game harder, what they do is they limit the amount of characters you use. But I don't think that's true. Because I've been on some of the forums to be like, Ayo, hey, what's going on here? And people have just been like, nope, it's it's two. It's always been two. It's forever two. And that really bothers me. How did I not see those spikes there? Um, but yeah, that that's, that's my only major gripe. But it's not affecting gameplay or, or anything. So it wouldn't like affect the, sto the score I give the game at the end. Um, which I've been trying to do for these. I've been trying to do that for these games. Um, gosh, actually saying that, I will say, uh, when we do get to Pokemon, I'm not going to rate those games, mostly because I'm biased, because Pokemon is a very, like, close to me series, but also because I'm going to be playing them in different ways, like, different ways to, to usual, so there's no point in me trying to do that. Oh, gosh, what else? I don't know, what other games do I want to try and play on this channel? 
I mean, I've already mentioned Transistor and um, Finding Paradise. Those are next. Then Sacred Stones and Fire Red. Um, I'm playing Sacred Stones and I want to get that out of the way because I really want to get onto the Ike games. Like, I want to get onto Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. I was originally, and I'll be honest, yeah, I was originally going to save them for last, but I, I can't. Because, like, okay, so for those of you who don't know me, I can kind of tell when I'm going to really like something or really hate something. I mean, most people can, but, you know, I, I tend to have this feel, like, this click in my mind of, like, okay, I'm going to like the, oh, the haze of the misty woods deceived the minds of all. Oh, right, we're in this area now, aren't we? Um, those lost within were never found. Anymore? Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so I got to... No, 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 no wait. Yeah, I saw the, the Ike games, and I saw people speak about the Ike games. And the more I looked into those games, and the more I paid attention to them, the more I really, really, really wanted to play them. And I was initially gonna play, I think it was Genealogy? I think I was originally gonna play Genealogy after Sacred Stones. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I think I'm gonna save Genealogy for last, actually, because Genealogy is the most not a Fire Emblem game. Um, and I'm only gonna be playing the games I haven't played on the channel, so uh, you won't see me play Gaiden or... Shadows of Valentia, unless I can get a 3DS recorder, because Shadows of Valentia is currently my favorite Fire Emblem game. I have its poster right here. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, I was actually speaking to one of my friends about Sacred Stones before this post recording, and they were saying, well, like the day before, and they were saying that they actually dropped the game because they just couldn't get into it. But they had told me beforehand that they played Fire Emblem for the gameplay and not the story. Which is different to me, because I really like Fire Emblem stories. I like to know what's going on. Um, and I said, I might find more enjoyment in the game then. Because I'm pretty sure, from what I've heard, it's got one of the more solid stories. Despite it being probably the easiest Fire Emblem game. Which is also why I'm playing that game on hard mode. Um, I think it has a pre-locked hard mode. Like, a, like, you are able to play it immediately. I could be wrong. If not, I might go and find something to unlock hard mode. Because I didn't do that with um, Binding Blade and Sacred... Uh, no, Bl Binding Blade and Blazing Sword. And I think that did kind of affect my experience with those games. Um, I still think that gameplay-wise, FE7 is better than FE6. Because even though FE6 has a lot of good characters, there's a lot of issues that are in that game. Oh boy, fucking looks at Roy. Um, oh, what is happening here? What is happening here? The Shrouded Lantern. This mysterious haze bellowed out of its stem. If we find a way to light it, the path might clear up once again. Um, and then I think... Yeah, I think I see that. And I look at that, and I'm just like, well... Time for me to- oh, I think I die here or something, and I'm like, nah, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, but I don't know if I do, because it looks like there's like another three-ish minutes of this- of this video. Yeah, because I do that, I listen to it, then I save. Okay. What is happening? What is happening? I don't know. I am very glad I picked Ori and Child of Light to do at the same time, though. They're very, uh, easily digestible games with each other. Which is my kind of main worry about Pokemon and Fire Emblem. Because, uh, especially because, especially, especially because, um, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones is going to be kind of different. Because I know that that game separates. And, you know, to, to fully respect how that game separates, I'll ha technically have to put up two chapters every Friday and Saturday, like when it starts to separate, so that we can cover all those bases as quickly as possible. Especially because I don't want to make people sit through technically the same map, but not technically the same map at the same time. It's 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 a long experience. Oh, I'm a genius. Oh, no, I'm not. Never mind. 
You know what it's like? You look at something that you didn't even recognize you were doing, and you're like, wow, I, I'm i actually kind of smart for, for thinking about doing that. I think I die here, though. Yep. Um, hmm. I think I try one more time, and then I try to end the episode. Is that not true? Or I didn't count that, and then I do it now. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, I died there, because I thought... That, that was a bullshit death. But, yeah, um... While my tiny child me keeps failing, I'm going to end the episode here. So, thank you so very much for watching this episode. If you liked it, thank you very much. Hopefully there are other things on my channel you can enjoy. I hope you all have a very nice day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.